Howdy, this is the old gunsmith. Uh, just uh, we're starting a series here on uh, the tools you will need to get started on working on your guns or gunsmithing in general. We'll go over some general uh, tools, some thoughts, some ideas, some considerations that you should have when you're uh, picking your tools or making your bench. And uh, there'll be a series of them. So I hope you enjoy them and let's get started. All right, we want to talk next about screwdrivers. The very first thing you want to do when you get a uh, uh, when you get into gunsmithing is look for a good set of screwdrivers. Now, what constitutes a good set? Your standard screwdriver is what's called a keystone bit. Keystone bit, you'll notice it tapers on both sides, and it tapers. Let's see if I can get this in the light here. Okay, that's good. It tapers on both sides in width. So when you stick it in a screw slot, what happens? The screw driver itself, as it goes in that slot, only contacts the head of the screw on the corners here and the corner here when you're tightening. And what happens when you tighten it? Something like this, where it buggers the slot. It messes the slot up. It likes to ride out and slip out. It displaces the metal, exactly. And if you look at most old guns, you're going to find all kinds of screws that look just like that. The other problem is they don't come in enough sizes. Uh, here's another example of a keystone style bit. Again, we have the same problem of it not fitting the slot very well, nor does it necessarily fit the screw head in width. That one is pretty close. This one, not so much. Okay, so what happens is when it doesn't fit in width and you screw it in, you start scratching the, the area around the screws. So it's important to have screwdriver bits that fit. That brings us to the infamous Brownells 58-bit superset. You will notice on this one that you have a parallel section at the tip. The reason for that is to be able to go into that screw slot, fill that entire slot, and adjust the uh, size of the bit to the width so you don't scratch around the sides of the, uh, the hole where the screw is going in. Uh, so you want it to fit both uh, thickness of the blade as well as width of the blade. You want to basically fill that slot up. You want to fill that slot up as much as possible. There's another example on a bigger one. This is why there are so many different sizes in the superset. You have big head screws like this, and you have wider uh, bits so that you can fill again fill that entire slot and not mar the screws. If you just simply grab the screwdriver you've got sitting uh, that you've been using for everything around the house, your next. Uh, trip will be to the Brownells catalog to buy screws. <laughs> Replacement screws if you can find them. Okay, uh, this is a, an old uh, Stevens visible loader, uh, probably one of the most infamous guns known to gunsmiths, usually known as the miserable loader. Um, they are very hard to get uh, to work exactly right and they're cheap guns. You don't want to, most gunsmithing schools would tell you never take one of these in to fix unless it's your own, uh, mainly, or you're fixing it for a friend or a family member, mainly because they're almost impossible to get working right. But uh, um, that's getting into specific guns. That's not exactly what we wanted to do here today, but uh, I did want to talk about the, the screws and the screwdrivers and the importance of a good set of screwdrivers. Another thing that people don't understand is the, one of the biggest problems is broken screwdriver bits. And what happens is people will go and grab the, the skinniest bit in the superset, okay? And they will use it on every screw. Well, you've got right back to the same problem. You're not filling the screw slot. It's loose, okay? So you're not filling the screw slot for one thing. And for another thing, by not doing that, you have the thinnest blade possible in that screw slot. And what happens is, as you torque it down, it breaks. The screwdriver bit itself breaks. 
it's supposed to do that. When you overstress it, you either make the screwdriver bit uh, so ductile that it bends, or you make it so hard that it's as fragile as glass. Um, if it bends, you're, and I've seen some do that, if they bend, they, they form a propeller shape and they cam right out and take uh, the, and damage the screw slot on the way. So when you overstress them, they're supposed to break. Now, you don't want to hear that my screwdriver is going to, is going to break, but the idea is if you're working on a rare gun where you can't get replacement screws, screwing up that screw slot for your customer is a lot worse than replacing a bit. It's kind of like a torque wrench for a mechanic. You know? Well, it yeah, and, takes, and Brownells you know, replaces those. Yeah. They'll replace broken bits. So, so you know, no big deal. You just have to have to follow up. And, and over torquing the, of the product. Yeah, because that's basically what you've done is you've just exceeded the uh, uh, capacity of the bit. That's from using a bit too small. If you use it, if it's too thin and doesn't fill that slot, you're going to press on the two edges of the slot or the blade until you break it. If you've got it filled in that slot and you've got contact all the way, you're using that entire blade to turn. But you grab the smallest one, it'll fit every screw you've got. It'll go in the slot of every screw you've got and it'll break. But anyway, okay, that's uh, just another tip. You, people wonder why do you spend, spend so much on a screwdriver set? You spend so much on a screwdriver set to have bits that will fit every screw you come across. That's the whole idea, is make sure that the bit fits the screw slot. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you've liked what you've just seen, we're going to be doing some more of them. We'll cover a lot of the basic tools uh, to get started. Uh, just stay tuned. Watch the uh, Alpha Charlie Papa channel. And we'll have some more ideas for you. For now, happy trails. <laughs> happy trails to you until we meet again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.